so excited. All right, this next store has a pretty big storefront. So let's hope that they have some decent inventory. I'm in the mood today for a store pick. I normally, you know, go for cool, interesting, allocated bottles and stuff, but man, a good store pick from something I can't get in Charleston would be killer today. So let's hope they have something nice. Got a little Paul Sutton store pick here. Caramel Kingdom. Never had a Paul Sutton before. Small batch, six year, 60.18 proof. That is right up my alley. Bottled in Bond. That, wait, that doesn't make any sense at all. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> what? All right. I guess we can just start putting anything on bottles now. They're a Knob Creek single barrel they got here. A nine year Knob Creek single barrel. And then a bullseye rye. Interesting. Look at Wild Turkey here with a little electronic. I like that, getting fancy. Chattanooga right here. This regular one. Look at that, 29.99. When I was first getting into bourbon, this was the one that I started trying. Now it's a Tennessee whiskey, but when I was first trying to get into it, this was so good to me. Can't beat that. That's a great price for it. Now I've never jumped up to the big boy level because I moved on to other things, but I'd love to try that one day. I would love to find a Russell's Reserve store pick today. That would be really cool. And they got the campfire here, which some people don't like, but I think it's a very interesting, unique bottle to have. A couple cool things here, obviously the normal Knob Creeks, and something hiding over here is 130 proof Jack Daniels. So I was giving Cooper's Craft a lot of crap, but I ended up trying it again, and y'all were right, it is pretty good for the price. See, I've never had a Stranahan's before, I don't know which one to get, or even if any of them are the ones to get, but I'd love to hear some opinions on Stranahan's. It's a cool bottle. I like the way it looks. Interesting that the Chattanooga Bottle and Bond is sold out. I wonder if that's starting to catch on at all. Any of y'all know anything about this Koval brand? Single barrel distilled in Chicago. Interesting. Distilled from 100% grains. Midwest Organic Association. Interesting. And the Hudson Whiskey, which I'll stay away from that. I got a nice little selection of barrel products here. I think I'm gonna keep an eye out for the for the newer released one. The the one that's got that rum barrel and scotch barrel mixed into it. Island or something, I don't know. I'll put I'll put it right here. For all of my people that for some reason like these green top willets, uh, they're everywhere in South Carolina and I can't stand them. They are like so peppermint forward, it's insane. Found the new Booker's Mighty Fine batch which comes in at 63 proof. Interesting. And of course you got the Fred No Little Book, which is $300, Bullet Oath, Pack 9, and then these over here. So Rebel Yell Single Barrel, 10 year, and then a Old Fitz 10 for 600. All right, so I did try one of these town branches. I tried this one, and I got a lot of like floral notes off of it. Um, and then now they have a Kentucky single malt, a true cast at 108 proof, and then a small batch straight rye. So I got a bad taste in my mouth from this one, but this guy actually kind of intrigues me a little bit. So let me know if anybody's had like either of these. Oh, Conviction Double Oak. That's a really good bottle. If you've never had it before. And then their regular straight bourbon. A little Driftless Glen too. Yeah, so yeah, the Bard's Towns and this one is extremely good. The Bottled and Bond, the Origin series, it is very good, but um, yeah. This is outrageous. It's unfair. You know, I did get to try some of these Oak and Edens the other day, and unfortunately they were, at least the expression that I got to try was not very good. But this one, Rum Soaked Oak, that seems like an interesting kind of thing going on, huh? Am I crazy, or is Baker 7 price went up a lot? Like, I don't remember it being this expensive. 80, 8 years, 10 months, I swear they were like 50 bucks like 4 months ago. And they got all these Calumets here, with all the 
different years on them. I have yet to have a Calumet that just blew me away for the price. So I'm probably going to stay away from those. And then all of my Penelope fanboys here, a uh, little four grain barrel proof. And the Architect, I know a lot of people are curious about these, but that's a build six. I could care less about it. Garrow bottle, seven year California. Finished in cognac, but $119 for a toss-up. Mm, that's tough to pull trigger on. And then they got this Elijah Craig 10-year private barrel. We're out front of Rudy's Liquor, and I picked up a hitchhiker here. We're getting ready to go see what they have. Hopefully, they have some cool store picks. Hmm. Oh. Maker's American. Look at that. Of course, you got the Yellowstone. And this is a select, so does that mean... <laughs> really? So does select mean a store pick? Probably not, right? No. Okay. No, Four rows of small batches. Is this a select? I don't think it is, right? Oh, look at these. Why are they different? Yeah. Wait. What's going on here? Is that just an old label, maybe? It's got to be just an old label. Buzzard's Roost. Light char, bigger flavor. Buzzard's Roost. 105 proof. Straight bourbon whiskey. Okay. Distilled in Indiana, so it should be a <laughs> MGP. an MGP startup brand. So... If you have any Widow Jane fans here, uh, I did get to try this the other day. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. Um, I don't know what the price is here, but when I tried this, I enjoyed it. Tropics? Yeah, I was just looking at that, too. Yeah, Tropics is new-ish. Uh, I've heard it's probably one of the better things that Jefferson's done, hmm. but I cannot spend $100 on a Jefferson's product. It's just out of my... Bourbon whiskey travel to Singapore, huh? All right. You ever try that Remus? Yep. Yeah, really? It's, it's pretty good. Uh, Heaven's Door 10, Buffalo Trace, Eagle Rare, Blends. Is that the Mighty Fine Batch or is that the Apprentice Batch Booker? Oh. Uh, and then Willet, Eight Year Weeded, Walk and Tell. And that is the Mighty Fine Batch, which is the newest release for this time of year. How do you tell that? It says it right here on the front. Right oh, there. just gotta open my eyes then. Yep, yeah, right. Now we're going to head into this store, which is next to a Dollar General, and we'll see what they have. Okay, so they have a Old Elk store pick, six year. 95% winter wheat. Yeah, it's I like the wheat. I like the wheat. Yeah, it's the wheat bourbons. All the Old Elk store picks I've had are fairly, fairly good. 114 proof for how much? 69.99. That's a great price for that. Oh yeah, that's fantastic. The Elijah Craig Private Barrel, 10 year. 100, no, 94 proof, 10 year. Okay, not bad. Yeah, so that, that was released in collaboration with the Kingsman movie hmm. and uh, became a full-time product. It's very cool. And I've tried it, it's great. Hmm. Um, I, I do like the 1910 a little bit better. Yeah, I've been really wanting to try that 10 and 20. It's fantastic. The 20, that's my I can take or leave it. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, check this out. Johnny Drum for $39.99. That's great. This is made by Willet. So Bowman Brothers Port Finish and Small Batch. Heaven's Door Ascension. I have not seen this before. Interesting. What makes this one different than a unique blend of two? Okay. Batches of 10 barrels or less. Interesting. This rendezvous is coming on. Wonder what's going on here. The High West Rendezvous. So the Rendezvous is Supposedly, the rumor is that this is what they use to make the Midwinter's Nice Dram later on in the year. Hmm. So what this year's Rendezvous tastes like is similar to the quality of the Midwinter's when it releases, hmm. which should be hitting soon. Look at this. Dude, I've never seen a Bellmead XO before. Finished in cognac cask? I'm gonna, I got a feeling that this is a, this is a hard to find bottle because I've really? never seen it before, ever. Oh, you're not familiar with it? Uh-uh. I finished an EXO cognac casks. It might be something, but it might not be. I don't know. $79.99. Oh, okay. So the, the, the Booker's here. It was $150 at the last store, and at this store, it's $139. Finished in Amburana casks. So this is a really good one. Uh, I think the Bourbon Judge just did a video on it. Uh, dude, so I'm still looking for the eight-year Sagmore. I saw it in Greenville last time, so if I see it today, I'm gonna buy it, but I passed on it a couple times and I got some major crap for it too. <laughs> oh, check this out, dude. Oh, Zach, 
What? Decadence, man. Look at all of them. Wow. $103 for decadence. When I picked up my decadence in Georgia, it's fantastic. This is a very, very good bottle. See, sometimes these kind of stores might have a black cap hiding back there, but I don't see one. Single barrel barrel proof, that's, but that's probably yeah, so I like to you know, always keep an eye out for the for the proof. Some of them creep into the 130s, and those are the ones to get. Look at this. Birmingham barrel proof. These are fantastic. A nice weeder, a nice weeded bourbon. 120.4. Wow. Pure Kentucky is made by Willet. Just leave that on the shelf. A lot of people... I have mixed opinions about that bottle in particular. Oh. Isn't Evan Williams' bottle in the bond supposed to be decent for what it is? <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, so this is actually a great mixer if you're ever trying to mix stuff. And some people drink it neat, but Evan Williams' bottle in bond is not a bad one to mix. Hmm. Blackened, cast strength 116. Oh, with West the benchmark, Henderson. the one that gives the single barrel, right? The single barrel or the foolproof, yeah. So this is made by Buffalo Trace, aged in Buff by Buffalo Trace. Uh, this is great for making cocktails or drinking on your own. I really enjoy it. Hmm. The foolproof is fantastic. Now, limit one per customer. I wonder why. I don't know what's going on with these, but it seems like they're getting a little scarce. I mean, for the price, this right here, 25 bucks for this, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, 25 bucks for that. <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> a Buffalo Trace product in bottled in plastic. 119 proof, old soul, blue label, distiller select for South Carolina. Interesting. I keep passing on these blue label old souls, but at some point I need to at least try one in a bar. We're seeing uh, a dark rye or this red wine cask finish. Yeah, okay. Which is so really interesting. The dark rye is what I started drinking when I first got into whiskey in general. Hmm. Uh, I liked it a lot, and it was a recommendation. Just heavier on the rye? Yeah, and it was a recommendation from a bartender, actually. Hmm. Uh, so, thank you. And then the cast finish, uh, it's like a drying mouthfeel to it. I It's probably nothing similar to the the dram, right? No, no, nowhere okay. close. Um, so I think port, that's a kind of wine, right? It's a right? port wine barrel, yeah. So this is this is completely different. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and you know what, some people love this and some people don't, but the Basil yeah. Hayden is a hit or miss product for most people anyway because of the price. <laughs> oh yeah. Dude, there's the foolproof. What's the top floor? <clears throat> The top I haven't seen, seen one of those yet. Yeah. I'm sure it's just at the top of the yeah. whatever. Yeah. Uh, on the seventh floor mm -hmm. of the warehouse. Yeah. I've never seen something. Yeah, I've never seen something advertised as top floor. Dude, these full proofs are fantastic. If y'all if y'all are ever looking for a Buffalo Trace product that has a good proof on it, these are great. Too. I don't know, I asked for the new one. Yeah. But this year's release, 135th anniversary. But they sent me the last year's one. 399 for the Four Roses limited edition. Six, eight, ten, and twelve-year bourbons, and there's a rumor that they use some of their juice from 1992. Really? Oh wow! 1992. I don't know Interesting. Cool yeah, it's a rumor, but wow, that's such a small bottle. <laughs> you like? I mean, uh, if, you, uh, if you see, if we buy two bottles, it's the same as the bigger one. Oh, okay. Oh, it's great. Fantastic. Uncut the younger. Didn't you say you bought that one time? Ooh, Knob Creek 12. Nine year, and then look, finally a uh, big sticker on the side of that. Interesting. What you looking at? Oh, just a regular <coughs> Willet, so rye. That's terrible. No, 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 no. Is it? Yes, yeah, terrible. Hmm. Small batch look, rye. Look, Caramel Kingdom. And this is a liquor and wine world special select. <laughs> Interesting. Hmm. Y'all look. A rare find. Wow. Now nah, they're everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all let me know about this product. Single barrel, bottle and bond, sweet match. Sweet match, single barrel. Y'all let me know if this is good or not. I've never heard of it before. Is it made in North Carolina? It's, no, it's uh, Kentucky. Kentucky. All right. Great. Yeah. Y'all let me know if that's good. This might be coming home with me. <laughs> that and, oh man. Oh, that's, 
I know you're a big Redwood Empire yeah, fan. I am, and I have I have all of them, the cast strength, except for this one. Oh man, mm. I'm, I'm probably gonna buy that. <laughs> Wild Turkey Kentucky Spirit, Jack Daniels Single Barrel Rye, 127.4. A little bit out of my budget, but you don't see them very often here in South Carolina. And look at this, look at this. Oh. It's gone. I was too late. I was too late. We do not see these sitting in South Carolina. Now it's like 50 bucks when it comes out of Virginia, but I, uh, there is tons of them here and I've tried this and it is fantastic. It's very good. If you see it for anywhere around 50 to maybe even a little bit higher, you should definitely grab it. Rough Rider, partially aged in brandy wine barrels. Rough Rider, huh? Dude, I can't believe they have this though. That's it's really cool that they have that. This is like one of the first stores in South Carolina that I've seen that's had John J. Bowman on the shelf. See, look, Zach, 130 proof on this one, 130.3. Hmm. I've seen these get up to 141. So I bought the other cast strength for 75 yet the other day. Yep. You're coming with me, big fella. Sazerac rye and the rest of it, as well as the double oak, which that's a pretty good, it's a pretty good deal right there on that Sagmore double oak. Big Weller. Look how big that Weller is right there. That is a crazy wow. size, dude. Yeah, man, that's huge. That's what she said. <laughs> Seventy-four ninety-nine for the Redwood Empire. Thank you. Thank you. So I had a an idea and hopefully this store which is the part of the same store that we just left from maybe they have the peerless double oak still it has a little bit less foot traffic so let's see if maybe i can get lucky and uh they got one here 89.99. this is insane i 89.99 all right 89.99 let's go i've been hunting for this bottle for so long now it's been on my radar ever since, like, they told me it was one of the top double oaks to get. Now, this was before, like, 13th Colony started popping off and everything, but golly, this is insane. Batch number 10, 108 proof, peerless double oak. Yes, so excited. What a crazy day, guys. I never thought for a chance I was gonna own all three of the Redwood Empire cast drinks. The Emerald Giant, the Pipe Dream, and the Lost Monarch. I now have all three. I paid a reasonable MSRP for them. Super happy to have those. And then the Crown Jewel of today. Like, what the heck? A peerless double oak coming out of left field. Love it. I have yet to try it. I'm so excited to have one in my possession and for what I believe was a great price. It's been on my hit list for a long, long time. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please check out the Patreon. I do weekly videos there, just tasting reviews and we're all hanging out and stuff. And of course, check out the Discord. We have some really cool things going on over there. A lot of people talking, a lot of things happening in the local area. So come check it out, guys. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, Bourbon Hunter, out.